Hey everyone, Monica Bodierski here, artist and author of the Shadowland Tarot and the House of Shadows Lenormand. How are you all doing? I hope you had a great week. Today's topic is kind of an interesting one because I deal with it a fair bit with clients that I have when I'm doing readings. Now I spend a huge chunk of my time creating artwork and writing and teaching, but I also talk to people a lot and I get a sense maybe of the bigger picture, not just of my clientele, but of how people are doing. And certainly during COVID uh, and this pandemic, it's brought up a lot. <laughs> of course it has. It's pretty traumatic and a lot of people are suffering terribly and have dealt with a, a great deal of loss. I think toxic positivity is something that has come to the forefront recently for me because it's such a, um, well, it's an interesting topic, right? Often we think of toxic people as only being negative. Those toxic people who always tell you their job sucks and we need to get out of here. If you're in uh, an office space with someone like that, you know, you just start to hear all of this toxic stuff. Everything's always a drama and terrible and awful and you know, the best thing that people can say is they got out of bed and after a while you start to, you know, you start to take that on and feel like, wow, you're totally poisoning the atmosphere. Well, you know, there is another side to that, uh, swinging entirely the other way and it is toxic positivity. How do we define that? Well, we all have our own definitions, I think, and I am not a psychologist. From my own perspective, however, I noticed uh, that kind of positivity seeping into things to blot out reality, and that is where it's toxic and denying that we're human and we feel terrible sometimes. We grieve when people pass away. Uh, there are periods in our lives where we are down, and it isn't something to be afraid of. It's part of the human experience. It seems like it's so fear-driven and, and people are so much into control and terrified that they're going to sink into this huge abyss and never crawl out again. And I am not talking about people who've actually experienced this as a chronic depression. I'm talking about people who are, I guess, leading average lives and um, yet they're always telling you, when you feel down, just look on the bright side. Uh, and they're manic about being happy. And there's this, this shame and blame then that you might experience because you just haven't pulled up your socks or, you know, you're flawed somehow because you're feeling down or you're angry. I happen to be a very passionate person. <laughs> Don't know if anyone's noticed that. And often I'll have these people, uh, I shouldn't say often, and I should qualify that these are people who are, maybe they haven't been raised the way I've been raised, or maybe they're terribly repressed. I don't know. They have their own ideas, clearly, but they will say things to you like, you know, why did you have to say it that way? Or why did you seem angry about it? And you're not at all angry. As a matter of fact, you're just passionate and enjoying life. And you're equally passionate when things bother you sometimes. <laughs> Swears, maybe. And you're equally passionate when you're joyful. Uh, we all have different ways of being and thank goodness for that and it's okay if you're not that way and and if you're very quiet and you keep your feelings to yourself that's not what i'm saying i'm saying it seems to me in my personal experience it's more the people who have this kind of like you know oh everything's fine nani nani sing a song it'll all go away that's that's not right for goodness sake I could sing songs and be cheerful all I want and, you know, seek love and happiness and say meditate. Sometimes things just suck. They do. And we don't have to deny it and we don't have to get stuck in it. You know, what I'm saying is what I was taught. Moderation, while a very relative term, depending on our upbringing, 
uh, it's still uh, eliminating the extremes of um, always being upset or angry and toxic positivity. You know, the real crushing part of that kind of happy-go-lucky, I'm always fine, you're never allowed not to be fine because the only you you've ever shown to anyone is with a big grin on your face. You're allowed to show people this resting face. <laughs> we'll leave it there. It's okay. You don't always have to amuse. You don't always have to fix everybody. You don't always have to just bowl over someone when they're feeling down. You can just listen. You can just be there. Unless you're being asked for advice, just be there with your heart and soul for people and say, yeah, you know what? That sounds really difficult. Be authentic with yourself and others. So you know what I'm going to do? You bet. I'm giving you a spread for this. You, Yeah, the toxic positivity shadow spread. <laughs> okay. Let's just stop with all that crazy fluffy, fluffy stuff for a minute. Let's get real. Okay. So I'm using the Shadowland Tarot. There's a surprise. And um, I'm going to pull three cards and I want you to try this on your own. If you don't have access to cards and you'd like me to do this reading for you, I bet those of you who don't pull your own cards and just take this advice, you need to hear it, okay? So do either or both. Sometimes we could use lots of cards, right? Just not all 78 gets kind of convoluted by the time you hit 77. Okay, so I have these actually shuffled, working ahead, and I'm going to peel off the top three cards. And the three cards are all going to be about the effects that toxic positivity is having on you. Okay? Now, whether you're the recipient or you're doing this, this is the effect it's having on you, okay? All three, all three cards, no more, less, in between. All three cards are going to give you kind of a well-rounded look at that. So the three cards that I pulled are the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and I shuffled well, and the King of Wands, okay? So you can get really nuanced in your readings and I encourage you to, of course, pick up my deck and book because it is over 200 pages. There's a lot of reflection questions and other spreads, but within those reflection questions, you can find a lot of layers to these cards, okay? But let's take a look at this very broadly. We've pulled three cards, the Two of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the King of Wands. How would I read this? I'm going to say the shadow side of this card. So toxic positivity, it can affect your love life and how you get along with people, how you collaborate with people, because you may have difficulty being authentic about how you actually feel, which isn't always happy, okay? You may uh, be the recipient of someone always telling you everything's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. You know, that's kind of a panic reaction. You can stop that and you can say to somebody, I'm sure it is, but I'm feeling. Now, I know we shouldn't have to do that. People should be sensitive enough to know when they may be bypassing our feelings entirely to get to better. But sometimes it's good that you remind folks, okay? And you don't have to be angry. You just have to say, hang on, I'm feeling this way. Now, if that's not somebody you want to be vulnerable with, I totally get that, you know? Now, as I was saying to begin with, with this card, you may be doing that to others. you got to notice when you are, uh, just listen and be sympathetic and don't try to fix or panic about it. Just say, yeah, okay, that's, that's difficult. I'm here for you if you'd like to talk. If there's something I can actually do for you, maybe text me. Give me a call. Okay? Look at the effect it's having. That forced happiness. And it is forced and it is not authentic. Believe me. 
look at the effect it's having on all of your relationships, okay? Okay, which slides right into the Three of Cups. This in particular now is expanding to a wider community. So whereas the Two of Cups may be a bit tighter in relationships, that one special friend, your partner, this is a little bit more in your social circle and it's spilling over into that. Are you the one who's always supposed to show up and cheer everyone up? Are they not doing anything about it? Um, that in itself is toxic positivity because you're being forced to be inauthentic in a way, well, not forced, more like trained with positive feedback because everyone loves it when you cheer them up. But keep this in mind, those people aren't learning how to cheer themselves up and they're kind of being greedy, right? They're not sharing with you. They're not turning around and offering that back to you. That's very, very subtle in some areas, but pay attention to it. That's all this uh, three card spread is about is awareness of where toxic positivity may be seeping into your life and causing more harm than just being positive, okay? The King of Wands, how, how is it affecting? Now, the King of Wands for me is not necessarily a gentleman here. I tend to read all my court cards as very gender neutral. The King for me is somebody who is working in even a wider space. My goodness, there is a sequence to these cards. How interesting. This is what you're projecting and as a leader, perhaps, what you're passing on to others. Uh, how your modeling behavior and think about all the people who are afraid then to tell you they're feeling low because you're always everything's fine oh wow okay well how can i be vulnerable with you for two reasons one i'm feeling like you're gonna judge me for that because apparently you're, n you're never down or upset and two um I don't know. I don't trust that, uh, that feeling. I don't trust that I'm going to be accepted for being this way. Um, you're, you're denying it within yourself, so I guess it's not. Again, this is about being judged, but it's just not healthy. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk to somebody like that. And I'm sure they don't want to talk to me if I am that person who's always saying, ah, oh, I couldn't be better. No, no, anyone who knows me, um, who spent the time to get to know me actually, will know that there are days I say, yeah, hi, crap day, crap day. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not being very productive, nor do I need to be every day. I'm just going to... Go for a walk or clear the air a little and no, it will pass. Because my feelings do pass, they change, and I'm sure yours do too. So in other days I'll say, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm also not afraid to say that. I don't have to bring myself down to that level and say, I'm feeling crappy too, you know, or I'm happy too. We're, we're not supposed to be, you know, just reflecting one another to such a crazy extent. Uh, okay, crazy is not a good word to use, is it, anymore? Okay, I'm so old. Maybe not to such an exaggerated extent. <laughs> Just be authentic and express yourself. And don't surround yourself with people who aren't accepting of that in you or themselves, right? You know, we, we know those people. Again, we know those people. They always have to be cheerful, cheerful, or they drop out of sight. You don't hear from them for two weeks, and then you hear from them when they're okay. Well, that makes it really difficult to share anything or be real with people like that. None of us want to be vulnerable. I get it. But you must have a core of people that you can be authentic with. Otherwise, trust me, that toxicity seeps into everything soon. You're, you are known as that happy person, that go-to when you're feeling low constantly. And that's just not living a very good life. You're going to feel ashamed when you feel down. Oh, what's wrong with me? 
What's wrong? I'm not happy 24-7. There's nothing wrong. It's just part of being human. Well, especially as artists and creative people, we need that entire range to be honest in our art. Whatever that is, as long as it's coming from our heart and soul and we don't feel that we always have to make art that is fluffy and pretty. Oh, no one wants to see that darn awful stuff. You know what? Yeah, some people do because it's called being authentic. Okay, everybody, have yourselves an authentic week. Don't be afraid to have some crappy days in between. Leave some comments below and just stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.